we are in the 7600. We put the grain carts on the 8235R and the 7600. Uh, we have been selling corn out of the bins and we just got the 20,000 bushel bin empty. We have to sweep it out yet, uh, but we just filled up this easy trail cart. I think we're going to park the Brent wagon underneath the 20,000 bushel bin, uh, completely sweep it out, and then it will be ready to go for filling up again uh, this fall. But um, we just took out our first wagon load out of the 10,000 bushel bin. Uh, since the grain bin did start to tip over, we removed some of the corn that was in it, but there is still a hefty amount in there. Um, just We took out enough to where we were comfortable that it wouldn't fall over. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna park this now. Uh, we're gonna go over and we're gonna start sweeping out the 20,000 bushel bin, and then that way it'll be nice and clean and it'll be all done. One of the reasons that we're dumping this into the carts is because we have to, we have to empty out out of the carts um, when we go to fill the semi out of the 10,000 bushel bin because it just empties so slow. So to get the semi out of here faster, uh, we like to fill the carts up and then we can just dump right from the carts right on to the semi. Um, but one of the benefits of having these carts is that we can park it underneath the uh, 20,000 bushel bin while we empty it out. So that way the semi driver doesn't have to wait for us while we clean it out and everything. We can just kind of do it on our own time rather than while he's sitting there waiting for us. So I'm gonna park this and I'm gonna go over and we're gonna start sweeping out that bin. got the 20,000 bushel drain bin all emptied out. Well, it's all swept. Now we are going to fill up the grain cart uh, through with the 10,000 bushel bin, bin now. And then whenever the semi uh, can come pick up the grain because the elevator is actually closing at three o'clock this afternoon. So that's not enough time to take a load down today. But um, yeah, whenever he comes, we'll fill him up with what's on the grain carts and then It'll be, that'll be one more, one more load that we can sell. So, uh, it is a little bit warm in here. The sun beats down on the metal and then it just kind of warms up the inside of the bin. Having the top, and, the top two doors open really helps because it creates a draft that pulls all the warm air out of the bin. And it actually ventilated pretty well. So, anyway, we're going to fill up the grain cart and wait for the semi to come and fill up. It might not be until tomorrow, until the semi can come, just because of the time that the elevator's closing. So whenever he comes, he comes.
Well, we're going to fill the carts back up, and he's going to be back tomorrow morning to get another load. So, Travis is back in the easy trail under the, under the auger now. And then we're going to back him in the shed again. Rinse and repeat. And so the bin begins giving birth to a spry young baby Travis, continuing the life cycle. It's time to announce the winner of last week's giveaway to win a How Farms Work hat. The winner of last week's giveaway was Joe Tiller, and his comment was, not bad prices, you guys do a pretty good job with your cattle. Well, thanks for the comment, Joe. Um, we actually received quite a few comments saying how uh, muddy it was in the barnyard and how we needed to clean it out. Well, we pushed the cows up in there just to kind of work with them uh, so that we could sort them out and work with them, because if you have a wide open space and you're trying to haul cattle or move cattle around, um, they don't tend to work with you. So we pushed them up into here. We got a ton of rain and then that kind of made it into a mucky mess. We could have spent the time bringing the bobcat out 
to clean it out, but since it was just me and Travis that day, we decided to just deal with the mud and go ahead and uh, sort them all out just and kind of get muddy, I guess. So remember that next week we are giving away another How Farms Work hat. So if you are interested in winning the hat, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section saying whatever. Let us know what you thought of this video. Let us know what you'd like to see on How Farms Work, and you will be entered to win a How Farms Work item of clothing. Next week it's going to be a hat. These comments are chosen at completely random. Uh, there's only one submission per person, so there's no duplicate comments or anything like that that will increase your chances of winning. But um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And I'll see you next time.